Uh, what about you, Chris? Have you found anything you've um, you've liked the look of so far? Um, I I came upon my own yesterday, um, and oh well, I like the intelligent dog. Oh yes, <laughs> the dancing dog. It's down there somewhere which is yeah. really yeah. good radio yeah it's towards <laughs> the arena down, down. Yeah. It, it's behind our stand we've had it actually on our video broadcast because we we've been video broadcasting as I, I, i've mentioned and there's this uh, robotic dog i mean it's very good i mean advantages are i suppose uh, less dog food and therefore less uh, less cleaning up shall we say that you have to do i'm not quite sure how it fits in a learning context. Oh, well, Russell, we, we did discover this yesterday. Oh, share. Do share, Will. We, we went back to the stand. The thing is that the dog is learning all the time. It doesn't always stand on its hind legs unless it likes you. So it's analysing what you're doing, and it's got a, a programme behind it. Of course. And it will eventually, when it really gets to know you, explain the programming. Okay. I think you have to go to a screen to fully understand this, but I, I know it, it speaks in Python. Okay. And it will show you the Python code that determines its every action. And there's not many can dogs you, that do that. Can you can you bring one of those back <laughs> and then perhaps they would do the program for us and we can go off and have coffee? Well, JT, we, we'll ask them about we, We'll ask them to visit Exeter. That would, be, yeah. that would be the thing. I don't think they'll know where Exeter is. Uh, by the it's a very this. intelligent dog. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case, Will, but I, I'm, as someone who's learning programming, I could be interested in that. But, but, you know, this is a show for educators to find stuff for their classrooms. I'm not sure how that really fits into the grand scheme of things. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Did you get the price from him? Did you ask him how much? Uh, <laughs> no. no, because I didn't want to find. <laughs> no, it's it, a small car. I think you could buy a family hatch. Yeah. <laughs> well, pr all but, right. We'll, but JD, we will ask them to visit. We'll ask them to come yes, down to Exeter for a couple I, yes, of days. I, I'd like it to come to the studio and see if we can do a programme. Right. And then uh, treat, treat me to a nice uh, latte afterwards. That would be brilliant. The, that yep. sounds a good scheme. Did you get my photo, JD? I did, yes. I got uh, your photo. Okay. Yes, we, I did we, respond to it. We, 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 we were communicating through the phone.